Dynamite, 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 dynamite. Di this is not this is not the theme song for dynamite. I'm sorry. Yeah, but we're talking about Wednesday night dynamite, AW dynamite, and things are about to get hot in here. Why? I don't know. But I just decided to say something quirky and catchy, and maybe I should just leave. But anyway, the night started with John Moxley versus. Orange Cassidy. It was not John Moxley versus Orange Cassidy because this is gonna be the match at full gear, but Orange Cassidy and Hook versus John Moxley and we were Utah. I, I flipped up his name again. Yeah, great. And uh, guess who won? John Moxley won, which I guess is the right call because I suspect that at full gear, when it's John Moxley versus Orange Cassidy part two, Orange Cassidy will retain this time because it doesn't make sense John Moxley to be so dominant, right? It doesn't make sense. Orange Cassidy has that uh, arc of he was down and now he's the champ again and now he's gonna fight with his living and breathing everything to defend his title. So I, I guess that tonight that Orange Cassidy lost was a good thing because I personally want him to win at full gear and retain the title. After that, Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland face-off. And the specific thing about that face-off is that if something physical happens, the match is gonna get cancelled because both of these competitors are gonna get suspended indefinitely. So basically, Hangman had a great promo against Swerve. Sadly, we didn't hear Swerve talk even a little bit, but in the end, Hangman was like, you know, these rules apply for me and you, but no one said anything about Prince Nana, and he attacked Prince Nana. So basically, all the security came out and they stopped it, but it was within the rules, so no one could say anything. And I'm actually hyped this time for Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland, because Hangman Adam Page had some bars yesterday. Red Velvet versus Green Goblin uh, versus Sky Blue. Yes, uh, and uh, Sky Blue won. And basically that qualifies her for the TBS Championship match at full gear, which is gonna be Chris Tatlander, Sky Blue and Julia Hart. For the TBS Championship, as I said, yeah, I'm a little bit of a fan of Sky Blue. I have said that in the past, and I, but I don't know if this is the good call for her to win. Maybe Chris Tatlander is gonna retain. Maybe Julia Hart is gonna retain because House of Black are having that comeback arc, and maybe she's gonna have the title on her. Maybe the title is gonna look good on Julia. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest, I'm okay with anyone winning this match. Maybe Sky Blue is the newcomer and maybe she is not a good idea to win this, but yeah, freak it, give it, give this title to her. Make, Try to make the title relevant, I don't know, because Chris Tatlander is... Look, I'm a fan of Chris Tatlander, but she's not doing anything with the title. Does that make sense? After that, let's talk about the squash matches today, shall we? Samoa Joe had a squash match and he, after that he addressed MJF and he was like Max, you better pick me up because if you don't pick me up, I'll come for the title anyway and if you pick me up, you should just give me a title match it doesn't really matter what you do so yeah, and the other squash match was again related to Max it was the Guns squash match and after that they addressed Max as well and they were like you cannot defend the title alone because did you see what we did right now to this team we just squashed it and uh, yeah squash matches love them after that Penta El Zero Miedo and Commander versus the Young Bucks apparently this show was at Young Bucks house and uh, yeah, the Young Bucks won, and uh, after that, there was a backstage segment, and they were so pumped, and they were like, we're gonna kick out the head of Chris Jericho, and after that, Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho will never be able to team again, and I don't know why they're recreating these kid-like segments, are they trying to replicate what happened backstage every time there was a spite? I don't know what, what is going on, but it is what it is. After that, a big one, the street fight uh, that had Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, 
the friend of Kenny Omega, the Big Show versus the Don Callis family. I'm sorry about this, but I skipped it. I just, I just cannot keep up with chaotic matches. This is it. Uh, I, I'm not gonna talk about it in too much detail, but the team of Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho won. There was a lot of shit happened. I said that I skipped it, but I saw a few moments, and I think I saw even the key moments from that match. And for me personally, it's not interesting. Uh, some some people are probably fans, and they're like, "Oh, tables, oh chairs," but yeah, I'm a fan of good storytelling, and this match, on its own, it's not a good storytelling technique. After that, last but not least. The show ended with an MJF promo. He was saying that basically he's not the devil because last week the devil attacked the acclaimed and uh, he was saying sorry to the acclaimed and he was not the devil. And after that, Jay White was like, everyone knows that you're the devil and you're not elite and I'm truly elite. And he's repeating the same stuff every week. And he's really like tough a little bit, but uh, I'm I'm a fan of Jay White. I, I just want to see the match at this point. And Jay White was like, "If you're not done with that, I got two words for you." And everyone was like, "He's gonna say the freaking guns up again." Uh, but he said, "Get him!" And the Bullet Club Gold attacked MJF. And basically, the whole show ended. How Bullet Club Globe? How Bullet Club Globe? I said Bullet Club Globe twice. I cannot imagine. In my wildest dream, this happening to me. But Bullet Club Gold was standing strong against MJF, and I was expecting some more Joe to appear so he can prove himself. But anyway, no one appeared. The show ended that way. And without being said, if I was rating AW Dynamite on Wednesdays on TBS, I would have given it actually 7.6 out of 10. It's super particular, I was about to give it at an 8, but the street fight, for me, it's minus a lot of points, and also Red Velvet, Green Goblin, Sag, it's a little bit too much for me, but in general, it was a really good show, don't get me wrong, it was really, 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 really good show. It, you can consider it even 8 out of 10, but 7.6 out of 10 is good enough. I was really happy with this show, and I actually like that the show ended with a promo, I prefer the show starting with the promo as well, but personal preferences. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you soon. Peace!